welcome to the Intuitive Message Channel. They call me Mitchell, and this is your message for today, Friday, June 12, 2015, and also the 13th, tomorrow, Saturday, 2015. As always, thank you so much. So today, another remedy for anxiety, because so many people are still echoing this and feeling this. And it's a simple one, as usual, and that is put on some positive lyric dance music, something high vibrational. I tell you, music... Cliche, but music saved my life growing up. You know, being the closeted, depressed child. You know, it was when it was my escape. Um, you know, it's it's what I do for a living now. I teach group exercise classes, which music is always there driving it. I don't listen to a lot of music other than what I teach because I'm constantly having to memorize the choreography and learn it and present it. But it's and the and the company that I work for, Les Mills, which I teach body step and body balance or body flow in the U.S. You know, the music is a positive aspect to that so find those positive lyric songs and put them on and move to them dance around to them you know I say positive because you know if you have a song that's continuing to say you know kill your mama over and over and over it's just not a good thing <laughs> but but the the beat may be good and high vibrational now interestingly enough I noticed growing up you know I was an 80s kid so I loved the culture club and Duran Duran your rhythmics and all that kind of stuff but I really resonated with, especially Rhythmics and Annie Lennox when she went solo. Because a lot of her music was a little more dark, a little more minor key. And it wasn't so much, um, you know, heavier negative music, but it was... It was usually a releasing of pain and a recognizing of truth and those lyrics and that music often helped me release stuff as well so find what works best for you and that leaves you feeling high vibrational and positive at the end but I tell you nowadays if I'm in a funk and just weird and don't know where it's coming from first of all recognize it and don't just go oh I'm having a bad day you know recognize and go I want to get the out of here you know what can I do and sometimes all I gotta do is put on a positive song you know and just move in my car you know or you know run the aisles <laughs> you know but and I literally can change my vibration in a moment's notice you know in an instant and <laughs> funny thing what music changing your vibration absolutely so it's a great tool to shift just like meditation and where do you think trance and dance meditation music comes from the trance music came from you know getting in the trance getting in the moment over and over that repetition of the same movements over and over and over so enjoy your high vibrational music today all right numbers let's dive in today 12 12 boils down to three three is that saying your true speaking it it's the playfulness it's a creative expression uh, all the numbers for today add up to eight that's self mastery that's authority power material wealth the Lenormand to go along with today's energy is ring this is about commitment marriage you know contract um, agreement Terror to match up with that Knight of Wands. I'd say this could be someone's getting someone's going to get engaged today from their Knight of Wands. They're very fiery. Um, uh, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius person is going to present you with a ring, or there may be a binding contract between. If you're that you know that Knight of Wands, they're often a little more young, a little more impulsuous males, but they can be females as well, just a little more dynamic. But there's definitely going to be like a coming together today. Number eight shows me it's business, material wealth, self organization. I think it's more along the lines of creating a business together with somebody than a marriage. But, you know, the marriage could turn into a powerful, you know, pairing, if you will. Tomorrow, today, the day is 13. 13 is the death card. More endings, but it's also number four. And four is that building formation. It's hard work. It's resource. Um, excuse me. Seriousness. Practicality. All the numbers from our add up to nine, that's perfection, that's ending. You know, the vision, transformation, spiritual consciousness, it's cosmic, you know, global awareness. And then Lenormand Tamar is going to be the moon card. You know, so this energy is about, um, you know, your your intuition, your emotions, um, your your personal power, um, your dreams, your recognition, honor. That's a, that's a weird one because moon and moon, you know, overlap in Terra and Lenormand. So I always have to look at the notes on that one, but I'm not going to have to look anymore and then see how I just created something positive right after I said something negative um, I don't have to look anymore I will know it and then the tarot to go along with that moon is six of cups now this card is about reminiscing reflecting its emotional things childhood memories looking back past loves past relationships you know past emotional things um, past honors and recognitions that are popping up and they're probably coming to an end this definitely could be about you know you know uh, high school graduation you know with the with the recognition and honor 
honors of the moon, you know, the valedictorian, you know, looking back on their life and reevaluating and moving out of it. So there's your message for today, the 12th of June, 2015. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com or mitchellosborne.com. Both those will lead you to the site. There's a lot there. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and I'm doing in-person readings on the 20th of this month, and then next month, it's like, I think it's the 26th or 25th in Kissimmee. So this month at College Park, next month in Kissimmee. Namaste. Bye-bye.